go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we finally got to the end. We're in Act 9.1.6, the last quest of 9.1. And that boss, Orochi, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So here's the path that I consider the easiest. You see the whittle down, you see the bleed vulnerability. Those are the two things that uh, I mainly focused on. So you want to bring champions that bleed, ideally. Um, and if you have seven stars that bleed, that's what you want to do. Now, you can do this path without a bleeder, without somebody who does um, any kind of debuffs. But that whittle down, you're going to be in for a longer fight. What is it, 60% damage uh, reduction? Something like that? And I'm not here for that. So I brought in three of my, you know, fun bleeders that are seven stars. One is still a six star. That's Nick Fury. Um, but these are some great bleeders, okay? Now, of course, that unblockable can be a problem, but you'll notice that the unblockable goes away when they attack. The attack doesn't have to land, okay? So just dash back, you know, dex it out until they have no unblockable left. Or you could just fight and um, just let them be unblockable all the time. But look at look at this. Now, I thought, and I shouldn't have, that Sheila would shrug off the um, heal block. Because I'm running the recoil Liquid Courage Double Edge. Putting a heal block on me really hurts. Because uh, I take full damage when that happens no willpower to kind of mitigate the damage so i was like ah okay um Chilith can can still work uh but because of my you know recoil double-edged liquid courage i was going to be losing a lot more health than i was comfortable with but i said let me just put her in the back a little bit and let's go with um nick fury because with nick fury yep getting smacked up but I don't care because the real Nick Fury gonna come out and do even more damage. So for now, we're just going through doing what damage we can. All right. Just look at that. Look at that. Just just smacking me up. But I'm trying to get to that second life, so I'm not really all that concerned with the uh, hits. You know, just letting her do her thing. All right. Look at this. She's down a little bit. And just look at that damage. And this is not even the real Nick Fury out yet. I love me some Nick Fury. Okay. Love Nick Fury. And I got a heal block on. Fortunately, uh, the heal block, uh, if I remember correctly, does not... Look at that. Just getting hit up all in the place. Um, stop his second life. And look at that. Bam. Done. Pretty nice. Now, because my Nick Fury is a uh, SIG 200, that D-Gen is going to go slower. So I'll have more time to do a lot of damage. Okay. So, um, and we still have uh, Wolverine Weapon X. So we're going to go back in. Now that the real Nick Fury is out, let's see what the damage looks like. Look at that. Look at that. 10K crit. Look at, look at the bleed. That's some nasty stuff. Look at that. And then I got hit. That I did not plan. 
That was definitely not planned. Okay. And see, I'm just trying to hit him up. Do as much damage as I can. That, that heal block is really annoying to me. But... You'll notice I do not have the poison on me anymore because all of that got cleansed when he went into his uh, second life. So at this point, it's like I don't have the um, recoil mastery on except when I fire a special off. So you can see here, um, I'm already low in health, so I'm trying my best not to fire a special one or two. Instead, I fired a special three. And we're doing lots of good damage. Um, I don't want to fire uh, too many of the other specials. That was annoying. But I think he didn't have any um, debuffs on him, is what happened. Because that should have taken him out. And I was just like, really? Of all the time? But, as you can see, he's down. All right, Nick Fury's still putting in that work. We're still good. Um, but you can use really any champion that you want um, that does debuffs. If they do a bleed debuff, that's even better because they have the bleed vulnerability. So we brought out the man, Weapon X. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Now, Weapon X, he does heal, but that heal block, real annoying, putting that heal block on me. It's like they know the mastery, and they are doing things to punish you for choosing that mastery. And I really don't like that. And they've done that before. I really don't like that. But look, look, look at the bleed. And then I was trying to bait out. And look at this. And down he went. Just like that. Just brought him in. And he went right back out. And I'm sitting there like, really? Really? Because I was trying to bait out the uh, unblockable. So that I wouldn't have to deal with that. And she wasn't doing what I wanted her to do. And I'm like, Ugh. Now, see, now I have the heal block back on and the poison. Psh, down he goes. The recoil masteries, you have to be very careful because they will hurt you. That's why they're recoil um, masteries. The recoil is meant to um, be the balance because if it didn't have recoil, Everybody would choose it. But I choose to keep those on. And so I, I kind of healed her up a little bit. Because I know I'm going to need the help, you know. And here we go. And I was basically staggering my attack so she wouldn't fire that special right away. Because that's when I get the heal block on me. And down she went. Didn't really need to heal up, but I like that safety net. Okay, now we've got Venom. Uh, while we're fighting Venom, let me tell you why I brought uh, Lady Deathstrike and Magneto on the team. And remember, this is my first time going up against Orochi. At the time of this recording, I've already done it out. Uh, done uh, 100%, 9.1. But I heard that Lady Deathstrike was really good. I saw some uh, videos there, and she is really good. Uh, and then I saw some cheese with Magneto that I wanted to try. And as you'll see when we get there, I'm still going to swap in another champion just in case, because I don't want to get stuck on the boss. So I know Lady Deathstrike can do it, and I know Magneto can do it, and I'm going to bring in uh, Juggernaut because I know he can do it, all right? So we just got to get through uh, this path. As you see, 
Now, one thing I don't want with um, Venom, do not want him to uh, be unblockable on his special two. Just don't want that. And down he goes. Chileth is awesome. Um, especially if you're not running the, the recoil because she won't shake those off initially. Um, now, I remember fighting Void when I had to uh, do the Crucible. And it was precisely because of that matchup that I ended up turning off my recoil double-edged liquid courage. Because Chilith doesn't get rid of the bleed and the poison that uh, double-edged and liquid courage put on you initially. She'll do future damaging debuffs, but that's it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to uh, turn them off for this fight. I understand um, that it's going to be a serious disadvantage against Void, especially to have debuffs on you because he does more damage to you passively. You know, unavoidable damage. It's wonderful. Um, so here we go. Look, look at her health. He's not even hitting me. Well, now he is. But just look at this. Look at my health. I couldn't even get in some good uh, attacks. Look at this. Didn't even get off but one special. And I'm like, really? So I'm mad, right? I'm like, I really hate it when they do stuff like this. You know, I enjoy playing with the recoil masteries, but fighting and, and they place void there. So not only did they do the heel block mess, but then they put void there knowing what that's going to do. Was that a fun and interactive fight that you just saw? That was crazy. All right. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm stubborn. That's right. And so I said, I'm just going to keep on going. Whatever. And we're just going to use some, uh, if we have to, some free revives. Because I'm not turning it out. You know? I'm not bowing down to that manipulation. Just not doing it. Look at this. Bam! And down she goes. But we're getting him down. Now, they could have forced me to turn him off by doing something really shady, like, um, I, I don't know, uh, not only the heel block, but they could have also said, like they did on that one fight with Nick Fury, he won't lose any power as long as you have a debuff on you. They could have done that. And that would have been annoying. They could have, you know, there's a lot of things they could have done that would have forced me to turn off my, uh, you know, recoil uh, masteries. But I'm just like, okay, I've got, I've got free revives. You see what my stash looks like. I don't care. You know, I'm saving up every single unit that I can in preparation for Cyber Weekend and the banquet after that. Okay? So, you already know how this is going to go. Okay? So, her health is going to go down very quickly. But I'm trying to be as uh, aggressive as I can. Okay? This time, you see, I'm a little bit more aggressive. Firing that off. Okay? And then I got hit with that. And I'm like, seriously? Really? All right. So, we're still getting them down. I'm in the middle of, of attacking and get knocked out. But that's okay. Because Chile, she a G. She going down swinging. So, yeah. I'm just going to keep on doing that. Now, if you're not running the recoil masteries, it's going to be a whole lot easier. This path is actually very easy uh, to do. The only um, issue was this void and running the recoil masteries. But 
it's something that I accept. I'm just like, yep, let's go. I know I'm going to end up using uh, revives on the boss anyway. And I just keep saying to myself as I'm fighting like this, I'm just like, mm-hmm. At least I'm not going to have to do this again. I won't have to fight him again. That's all I care about. Look at that. Bam. Done. Not a ton of revives. And we're done. And I save units. I don't care. All right. So that was the path. Now we're going to fight the boss, Aroshi. Now, again, this is the first time I am going in here fighting her. Okay. So a lot of what you're going to see is me getting used to her animations because I don't even know her animations. I'm going in here. Um, I've, I've watched a few videos and Lady Deathstrike and Juggernaut worked very well, as I saw. And Magneto, as well as OG Storm, and even Professor X, worked extremely well. And you're going to see that. So my recommendation, if you want to play the nodes, and there are people that do, they want that challenge of actually playing these nodes, then um, you want to use Lady Deathstrike because you're going to have to play the nodes. If you go in with Magneto or Juggernaut, you will not have to play the nodes. You can ignore them. Just go in and do your thing, okay? The strategy for Juggernaut is very straightforward. You just basically go in and just do your thing. You know, be aggressive, fire off those specials, and you're going to do it, okay? Magneto, on the other hand, takes a little bit of difference. Now, watch the boosts. The most important boost is the mutant power back boost. Now, you can go with a 150 or a 200. You see, I was maxed out on the 200%. May as well do it. I don't care. Okay? But the 150 can work. And here's the thing. A five-star will also work. Okay? So, the basic strategy is this. Build to a special three. Get at least, for me, like 35. This Magneto is a six-star rank four ascended champion. At least 35 prowess. And once you have that, it's game over. Okay? And you're going to see what I mean later. Okay? So here, I'm learning her... Uh, you know, animations. You do not want to get caught in the corner. Okay? In the corner like this? Yeah, see? This is what you don't want to happen. I tried to hit her with a special, but this was not what I needed to do. Every time I fire off my special, that's going to take even longer to get to a special three. You do not want to do that. Okay? Even if you're getting hit, just save your special... When you get to a special three, you want to then hold that heavy as often as you can to build up to your prowess. Now, if you have a striker, and I recommend bringing a striker, that can help you build it up because Oroshi is very aggressive. Okay, you see her. She's very aggressive. You also want to learn how to heavy counter her. Okay? So, at this point... Look at this. Ah! But I only have seven prowess. And down I go. So, I almost had it there on my very first time trying it. But, I still didn't know Oroshi's movements and all that good stuff. So, what you're going to see here is me getting used to her... Um, her animations and, and so far, okay? And trying to do that strategy I mentioned. Now, you see her health is going down um, slowly, but that's not what you want to do. But you can get her down with Magneto even if you don't use this method. Now, my second time going up against Oroshi, 
was a one shot, okay? But this was me learning. So you wanna try to keep her over on her side of the screen. And then when she does that special, counter it with a heavy, okay? See how I'm trying to keep her away from the left side? Boom, heavy attack. Now, at this point, look at this. I mean, you're, it's gonna happen if you're going against her the first time because she was so aggressive. And look at this, as much as I was trying to do it, I'm in the corner again. I'm like, good, great, look at this. She's intercepting me. She is a very aggressive. I mean, crazy aggressive. And then you saw how I tried to hold the heavy because I'm trying to get to um, those prowesses. All right, see, I'm holding it down. Um, all right, so here we go, we got 10. And I'm trying to get her back, back, back so that I can at least get a heavy in here. Boom, because I'm not familiar with her special too. So I, it's all learning. This is all me just learning, okay? Um, but once you get it, oh, it is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Now, I could have gone in here with um, Lady Deathstrike to learn the animations instead of trying to do the, the thing. I don't know why I keep getting hit there. And you'll notice that happens often. Even, even when I finally get her down, I get hit initially. I don't know why. And here I am in the corner again. And see, this is not where you want to be, as you can see why. See, look at that. I just fired that off just to try to get out of the corner. Boom. Now that I can at least evade. Her special one, I'm like, okay. I know her special one now, but I don't want to get hit. And look at this. She backdraft intercepted me. The AI is crazy, okay? So just bear that in mind. Look at this. Just tear me up. I'm trying to back off. I'm trying to do everything, trying to, you know, make some space. She ain't letting me breathe, okay? So you got to deal with that AI, all right? <clears throat> but once we get it, it is beautiful. And you will see why I say Magneto is the way you want to go. But just bear this in mind that it's a painful learning process uh, to deal with her in the first place, to even get to the special three. All right, now this time, you see, I didn't get hit right away because I'm, I'm learning. Okay, here we go. We're getting a little bit better. All right, there's the special. We countered it with a heavy, learning the spacing. All right, hitting her back a little bit. There she goes. Heavy, boom. Okay. Here we go, another special. Heavy, okay. And then she got me there. <laughs> the reason that I did that, of course, is I want to keep her from getting me in that corner. Okay, even if I have to hit her block, you do not want to be in the corner. Now see, that heavy attack looked like a special to me. Still not learning, see? I can counter her heavy with my heavy, but her heavy didn't look like a heavy. I have to learn it, all right? So now she's got her special two, and I'm like, okay, I don't want to get hit with her special three. So here, I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? She's supposed to be aggressive. Look at this. She was supposed to be aggressive, but yet she didn't fire her special two. And I couldn't get enough prowess. So I'm like, are you kidding me? This is crazy, okay? Um, that, that aggressiveness and then passive right when I needed her to be aggressive is something that we've been having to deal with uh, quite often. And it's not just her. You will find this all across the battle realm uh, in many different game modes. The AI will do that. Okay, there I go getting hit again in the beginning. I don't know if it's a block break or what. Okay, normally all I'm trying to do is block or parry initially. So I don't know, is she unblockable in the beginning? I I'm not sure what happens, okay? So here we go, we're trying it again. <laughs> We've got the uh, spacing for the special uh, one at least. 
All right, and see, I need to be aggressive and push her back. All right, now see, that was a heavy instead of a special. So I got the heavy off, all right, see? And then she just darts at me, and then she's not throwing her special. Okay, now she finally throw her special. Knock her back, but she got another special, okay? But I pushed her back, all right? I got a special three, all right? Now I need to hold that, all right, good. All right, now I'm holding it. I need some specials. I mean, I need some prowess. All right, we got 24. I threw that just to, to back her off. Back and, and here we go, 36, we got it. Now, this is what we've been waiting for and I want you to watch this. Boom, boom, crunch. That's phase one, done. Now watch this. Whoop, and we're in phase two. Boom, boom, crunch. That was phase two. Now we're into phase three. If you're wondering why I still have the power, that is what the mutant power back boost does. Okay, look at this. Crunch, crunch, boom. All right, what was that, phase four? Can't get much easier than this. Once you learn her um, animation and all of that. Just look at this. And you can do this with OG Storm. And you can also do this with Professor X. Okay. Look at this. It's all you got to do. See, I'm not playing the nodes. I don't even care about the nodes. Just crunch, crunch, crunch. That's it. All these phases that, that, that you got to go through. I don't care. And this is how I did a one shot the second time I went in after her. I was able to push her back and, and do all that perfectly. And that's it. Okay, so after the painful learning curve, we finally got to the special three. We were able to build up to the prowess that we needed and go. Some people, depending on your ranking of Magneto, you may not need as many prowesses. Some have told me that 30 is enough, okay? So that is going to do it, guys. We finished 9.1.6. You've seen the Oroshi cheese with Magneto. Lady Deathstrike can do it. Juggernaut can do it, all right? So take care, and you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight, he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the king crown